Here we go again, another solar USB rechargeable light. This one is based on this concept here that I have. This is a um, USB rechargeable solar night light. This is stock sensing. And I use this lithium ion battery, 18650, 3.7 volt. And um, this is the charge controller charges the battery with the solar panel or with the USB so this has been working very well in the daytime I just put it by the window and it recharges and now I made this setup here which is basically this voltage booster together with this lithium ion battery charge controller and I mounted both of them on the back of this battery holder here so that gave me this part here so right now I'm charging it I know it works because it worked in my other light and I'm using the USB to charge it and I had a little problem before with uh, the charging because I was using this and I was not very careful and the connector came off. They're kind of flimsy. They are clipsy but they're not really soldered onto the board. Fortunately I bought 10 of them so I put another one up. This one is still usable if I just use another kind of input. For now I'm using a small solar panel. This is really small. This I kind of doubt it will do the job, but you're going to know what I'm trying to do here in a minute. But uh, right now I'm just going to tell you how this thing works. Um, okay, solar rechargeable, USB rechargeable, one single battery. This, when I plug it in, can charge the battery. And then when I, I, when I unplug it, when I want to use it, the battery power goes through to this booster module here. Because the battery is only 3.7, uh, usually when it's charged it's about 4.1 volt. So I need something to boost it to 12 volt because I'm using the battery to try to run something like this. Not the entire row, but just uh, about 27 LED, which is about this long here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this outside and I would be using a remote control to turn it on when necessary. So this won't be powering the LED uh, all night long. I have another LED light that does that. It, I program it with my solar charge controller for it to light six hours or so. But then I also need something that if I need to see some light uh, in the middle of the night, I can pick this up and uh, click on it and the light should come on that way. So this is what this is for. And if one battery is not enough, I can always parallel it, make another, uh, add another lithium ion battery. And I can also increase the length of the LED, of course, if I have enough power. And how do you do the remote? The remote is by this remote controller here. This is the LED controller. You input 5 to uh, 12 volt and it output, outputs 12 volt and it can connects to your LED. Uh, this is a PWM pulse width modulated uh, controller. And what it does here, let me put this up so you can see. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Okay, you can see it's flashing now. So that's what it is. Let me change the mode. With this thing, this is like overkill. It has like, I don't know how many functions. I just want it to be one 
I just want it to be lit. I don't want it to be flashing all the time. But it can it can it can do this if you want it to. If you really want to uh, annoy your neighbors. And the good thing is you can lower the power. You can make it 25%, 50%, or anywhere in between. Let's see if I can make this 25. Yeah, this is 25% power. So if you want to use this as a night light, you can uh, lower the demand on the single battery. 50% 50 here and 100%. So the LED strip, there are three to one. Let me just turn the thing off here. There are three LEDs to one, um, I guess, one cluster. And there's a small tiny resistor here. So basically, it runs on uh, 12 volt uh, with that little resistor. So that's how it works. And this PWM controller is what's good with it because not only does it allow you to do all the different flashing, it also can can save you power. So to use this, just do, give a long press. It comes on. Right. So right now, I'm just using that single battery and because this is still experimental I am gonna see how it recharges with that single solar panel there. That is a 6 volt 100 MA which is which is not enough. If, if you boost the uh, current to say 12 volt you lose half of that uh, you get 50 MA basically if you want to charge this up uh, or basically what I'm doing I'm boosting a 3.7 volt battery to 12 volts so it's not going to last theoretically this type of battery here is 5000 MA this is a blue one here and there are different reviews on on the internet on how good or not good this type of battery is uh, some say, oh, they only have 500 MA. Some say, oh, it's, it's okay. So this type of battery has a uh, charge, discharge protection. So, but I'm not going to be too worried about it because uh, everything is low powered here. And I'm using a lithium ion battery recharger. You can also plug the battery in to a uh, dedicated charger. I bought one of those. The whole thing with uh, the batteries is about $8 with the charger and two of this type, the blue type battery. And then I bought a whole set of this for about $16, eight of them. And so that's what it is. It's, like I said, I'm still playing around with it. It's not perfect at all. Ide ideally, I should include some kind of a switch to switch it off. But then if I switch it off, I won't be able to turn it on remotely. Because uh, even if I turn this off, it will still be drawing some power because you have some electronics here. You'll be s still drawing a little bit of power from the battery. But if the solar panel charges as well, and I won't, I won't worry that much. So here it is. Isn't that cool? This is so much better than CFL. CFL basically is just fluorescent light. I think he, this is much more interesting. You could have this RGB, but then that would slightly complicated it because uh, you, you would have like a four wire cable instead of two. By the way, uh, the LED strip here, the backing is 3M. You can just peel it off and stick it on to anywhere you want to. And I bought the, uh, this is 
too bright. I bought the uh, waterproof vari uh, variety. This is like silicone and it will be weatherproof. So all I have to do is put this in some kind of container. That will be another challenge, but the hard thing is to get this to work first and then I, I worry about the connector later. By the way, uh, Legal Lysis Ham 420 pointed me out to the uh, controller here. I forgot how much it is, uh, probably less than $5 with the remote control. And then of course it uses a little button cell here. All right, thanks for watching. Sorry to be such a long vid, vid and uh, so long winded. See ya.